romantic novelist some of the minor writers of gothic novelist Horace Walpole from 1717 to 1797 son of the first pm of england robert walpole he had a strawberry hill house built in reviving the gothic style his famous work is the castle of otranto written in 1764 it is the first gothic novel the second work the mysterious mother or a tragedy written in 1768 Second writer Anne Radcliffe, from seventeen sixty four to eighteen twenty three. She is considered the pioneer of the Gothic novel. Her techniques of explaining supernatural elements in her novels are unique. Some of her famous works: The Castle of Atheling and De De Vienne, seventeen eighty nine; A Silicon Romance, seventeen ninety. The Romance of the Forest, seventeen ninety one. The Mysteries of Udolpho, seventeen ninety four. It has some famous characters: Emily Saint Aubert. She in the end got married to Valencourt, Madame Seron, Montoni, Count Morano. Third, Matthew Gregory Lewis, seventeen seventy five to eighteen hundred and eighteen. Her writings are often classified as gothic horror frequently referred to as monk lewis so, so her most famous work is the monk or a romance written in 1796 condemned for its depiction of rape and incest mary sally 1797 to 1851 the daughter of william godwin and mary wollstonecraft second wife of pb sally her most famous work is frankenstein or the modern prometheus written in 1818 revenge style story in epistolary form in 1816 mary sally pb sally and lord byron had a competition to see who could write the best horror story then mary sally wrote frankenstein pb sally wrote gestrosi and lord byron wrote manfred Frankenstein is a revenge story written in epistolary form. It is dedicated to Mary's father, William Godwin. P. B. Sally wrote preface to this work. It is considered an early example of science fiction. Major characters are Robert Walton, the explorer; Margaret Seville, her sister; Victor Frankenstein, the protagonist of the story. Her two last works, Lodore. 1835 and Faulkner 1837 her final two novels that are semi autobiographical